Yes, you read that title right. The Dearborn Fire Department, they destroyed, completely destroyed, a perfectly good 2020 GT500 just for training. Now, before you get all upset, it was a test mule. It was destined for the crusher anyways, uh, but Ford, instead of just crushing it into a cube, they decided, hey, let's get a little bit of use out of it. Uh, let's donate it to the fire department. They can uh, practice their emergency extraction techniques, uh, and they cut that car all up. You can see the engine is still in there. I'm assuming the transmission is still in there. Now, the car doesn't have any kind of vent. It could never be registered, never driven on the road. Uh, Ford, they use those to kind of stress test them, uh, you know, hot laps, you know, see how fast they can go see how what what kind of conditions they can survive uh probably you know severe heat severe cold uh that kind of stuff it was just a test mule so it wasn't it was never destined to go on the road uh it was not a waste of a gt500 and like i said it was going to the crusher anyways so hats off to ford for actually donating this to first responders so they can actually get some use out of it instead of it just going straight to a crusher and they're not really being a gain to it so Sucks they had to do it, but I mean, as you see the pictures, I mean, even the fire department, they even said, you know, it almost broke our hearts having to do this to this awesome car. But I mean, at the end of the day, it was good training. Car would have been crushed anyways. So hey, hats off to Ford to, you know, for actually helping first responders. And as far as GT500s go, I've only seen one on the road. I mean, how many of y'all seen actually driving around? I mean, I've seen a ton of C8s. I've probably seen... 10 C8s driving around the Woodlands area and only one GT500. It was actually just parked at a hospital. Um, so I thought it was crazy. You know, I've only seen one GT500, all these C8s. That just goes to show you, I guess, kind of how rare the GT500s are. Uh, I mean, or on the flip side, you could see how the C8s, they're selling so much better than GT500s, but I'm sure there's less GT500s being made. But I want to know, I mean, how many GT500s have y'all actually seen on the road? Because I've only seen one and I'm here in Houston where typically you'll see a ton of GT500s. So Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.